All right. Power shifting, power shifting. Pretty good. Pretty good. High tide? Mm, no high tide choker. Unlucky. Right up at the top there. 148. We had only one omen proc. We didn't actually burn all of our mana, though. Uh, we could have power shifted more aggressively. Got a little more ability usage in. I'm keeping my uh, Mangle Rune on for Gamura. As a uh, normally rogue player, it tilts me out of control when druids like switch to Sunfire and don't give 30% bleed bonus on this boss. Mm -hmm. And that'll help the uh, that'll help the warriors and the and the rogue as well. Okay. We need to not die. This is this is the challenge here. Manage to not die on this boss. Oh, I shouldn't have killed that. That was like a rage mob for the warriors, I think. Waiting. I'm going to I'm going to chill. Looking for bubbles. The whole game is avoid the goddamn bubbles. Okay, still a lot of bubbles. Oh, the shell's bursting. Run away. Didn't get knocked back. That's good. Okay, we're in the clear, I think. Power shifties. Hmm. Could have got more power shifties in at the end of there. What do we got? Ooh, 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 ooh. I want that. That's my bracer. No pre-Savage Roar. Oh, yeah, Savage Roar's a really big duration. We definitely could have done that. I didn't think about that yet. I haven't thought about all the, you know, possible min-maxing I could do. This guy, did he die? Unlucky. He's not dead. Okay, he still has buff. I uh, refreshed my omen. All right, back to cat form.
Yeah, seeing as this is my third raid as Feral Druid, I, uh, yeah, that pre-Savage War was just completely not on my radar. Sagefish, what, for mana regen to power shift more? I'm already, like, not power shifting enough. It's like I'm not burning through all my mana. Could even man be mana potioning to power shift even more aggressively. Alright, I could shift out of this, but why spend the mana? Alright, what is this boss drop that we want? Mm, we already have Tear Helmet, so we don't need Artemis Cowl. Does this boss drop anything we want? Uh, Artemis Cowl is the, like, main thing. We want the six Strength Ring? No, not really. We already have a seven Strength Ring and a four four Ring, so I don't think we want the six Strength Ring. Cloak is 6 agility, which is just worse than this. Here we go. Gotta move out. Oh, I can shift those? Wait, I shifted and cleared my ice stacks. Did you see that right at the end? Strength, stamina, spirit, rock. Ooh, that's a good caster helmet. But gloves are less attack power than this. It's like stamina, spirit, strength. This is 12 attack power, 13.2 if you count kings. It's just, it's just not as good as this. Yeah, you could fap, but you have to go out of form. I'd have to, like, have a separate power shift button that was power shift and fap. Which, yeah, I should do. I just don't have that button right now. Oop. I'll shift out of that one. Button would just be like cast free action potion, cast cat form. This, I bet, sells for a lot. This is a very good caster item. Very high uh, spell power on that helmet. from or whoopsies oh i can keep a omen of clarity proc even if i power shift it's kind of nice boom free shred drops like uh savage war again i need to make the number font bigger on this week or i think or i need to put a like um swipe it's called where it like has a like a clock hand that goes around and 
shades the thing in, so it's more obvious when this is low. Just trying to get a roar off on that guy. Died too quickly. Yeah, let me look at that Gamura. The Warriors didn't do so well. Or... Wait, did he... He was the guy that died. But look at the Rogue. I mean, the Rogue was... Not even doing Saber Slash. This is a Mutilate Rogue. Our Mangle on Gamura did not help that Rogue at all. And he was still just cranking poison damage. Which, you know... You'd crank poison damage and do saber slash damage if you was saber slash. Wait, let me look at... His mutilate damage was really high. Me, uh, no, never mind, it wasn't. Melee damage was high. Gamura. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm looking at the right segment. Yeah, okay. Nothing unusual going on there. After yourself for exactly no reason. Yeah, one of the warriors died, so they dealt no damage. The other warrior just maybe wasn't doing a deep wounds build. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, dude, here's the thing about mutilate enjoyers. Most mutilate enjoyers are okay my experience has been that most people who play mutilate are people who will get mad at you if you tell them changing your abilities will make you do more damage they'll just be like i'm not a meta slave i'm just gonna play what i want now i don't know if this guy is that type of mutilate enjoyer or not but you know unsolicited advice is hard to make it it's hard to make unsolicited advice sound nice you know it's very easy for people to uh get upset about that oh can we go in with my rock no we're gonna chill Too slow, too slow, too slow. Parry, parry. I literally... Okay, there we go. There's the first combo point, because I got so many parries. Okay, we're in a shield phase. These last 25 seconds, roughly. We now have full combo points, so I'm going to try to gain full energy. There we go. Do a rip. Should I, do, I should be doing shreds when I have that um, omen proc active. I just misclicked, basically. Gonna put up a fresh savage roar so it's there when the shield goes away. See if I can get enough combo points here. No, I didn't get enough combo points. Unfortunate. Miss. Dodge. Alright, we did about as much as we could. Twilight Avengers Boots. Okay. If we make it through this without dying and we keep our world buffs, I'll consider that a large W.
Oh, omen faded. Refresh that. Warriors getting rage here. Let him. <laughs> yeah, I've mostly figured out how to do that boss on Rogue. Which is, I pretty much just do only in Venoms. I don't think I can get slice and dices off that are good. Because, like, he just keeps going into shield phase, which wastes a big portion of your slice and dice. So I figured it out on Rogue, I would say. Definitely have not figured out exactly how I should sequence that on Feral. Off? Yeah, okay, good. Got to spend my combo points. Now, here, most important thing is I go into Lorgus Jet with a full energy bar. So, I don't want to spend too much here. Also, I don't want to rip threat when Lorgus Jet comes through. Well, I rip threat. <laughs> About to be totem time. That was a weird power shift. I actually went into human form for a little bit. Miss. Whoa, shit. Oh shit, I'm taking some damn. I want to get hit by that boulder again. Oh shit, it's on me. I'm more concerned with not dying than I am with pumping big, okay? I don't want to die and lose my... Uh, oh, Slayer foot pads? Oh, oh, our two-piece? Oh, oh, that's very good. This item blows. It's a neat item that helps with power shifting. Prevents you from power shifting while on global or if you're out of mana. Uh, the way I have the macro set up, uh, I was told that it will only power shift if I have the ability to actually do it. I'm not sure if it checks for if I'm on global, but it definitely checks for if I have enough mana. Uh, and it's very simple. It's just cast exclamation point cat form. Just like that, or slash use exclamation point cat form. That's all I'm pressing for my power shift button. So shred with that omen proc. Detailed loot information my group. Only the text X person wins with roll Y. Uh, if you do slash loot like this, it pops up this thing that'll show you all the loot rules. Rolls. Oh, sh Stuff is pulling. Okay, we're about to have a bunch of stuff here. Alright, that thing's running away. I'll let it. <laughs> that's that's mage time right there.
<laughs> Thor, I need to ask you a question if you're such a lover of min-maxing. I actually have to ask you a series of questions. Are you running Elixir of Coalesced Regret in all of your rates? It's a two-hour buff. It gives plus one to all stats. You got you got your Boggling Roots active. He's not. He says he is, but he's not. So he's also a liar. Is are you accusing Thor of lying? He doesn't use them. Oh my god. We're gonna have to check the tapes. See if he was using a Elixir of Coalesced Regret or even a Boggling Root in his last raid. It's a serious accusation. You want us to hit those shadows right now? To our pot cooldowns up? Alright. to make a new macro. off some people. Wait. Whatever, we're good. Alright, you guys think the staff's gonna drop? It's pre-sold for 40 gold. Two minutes on the clock. Prediction's up. Will staff drop? Can we get a fresh arcane intellect? Uh, I need it on Simonized Drew in particular. All good, thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is just a group we joined out of LFG chat, so yeah, not everything's perfect, but they're also not taking a host cut, so I figured that's okay. The staff probably isn't going to drop anyways. Dream zone. I was trying to avoid that. Fox with my animal form. Of mana, so I'm chilling on the power shifting. He's phasing? Good 
rip up. One more. What is it? No staff, guys. No staff, no problem. Sunder fell off. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things weren't great. Yesers in shambles. Yeah, dude, see, this is an easy, no host cut GDKP. We're gonna win those boots for probably like three gold or something. Minimum bid, I bet the rogue already has them. I wonder. Does the rogue already have them? Fuck, okay, we're bidding against the rogue on those, probably. Find out. Soon we'll find out how rich that rogue is. <laughs> Alright, but what about... Uh, any epics off of Akumai? There's two different ones. Prediction, star prediction. Any epics from Akumai? Alright, predict prediction is up. Two minutes on the clock to get your points in. So I already have three rogue raids scheduled for tomorrow. And then I have a warrior raid scheduled for Wednesday. So after this, we're actually kind of like all locked up on our BFDs. And we'll just blast some PvP, maybe some gold farming, that kind of stuff. Alright, we're going to try to... free um, Savage Roar... Maybe on this mob. See how much of that I can carry into the boss. On Akumai, will we cleanse or not cleanse? Cleanse only during transition. Okay, we carried none of that into the boss. gonna transition here so I think we should just chill there's the timer for the transition so we're just chilling power shift anymore. No mana. Unless I do a mana potion. The void blast coming through. shift at the end there. 
What do we get? Ooh, baby. Which of the warriors already have that? One of them already has it. God damn it. One of them already got it. So there's literally no... Well, maybe the punter competes on it. Who knows? It's good for melee weaving. This is a shaman, not a paladin. We're horde side. All right, prediction, choose outcome. Yes, epics from Akumai. Okay, so the things that drop that we want... Mostly the Twilight Slayer foot pads. Also, Sentinel Paul. Uh, no, Sentinel Pauldron is not good on this character. Actually, never mind. Uh, Slayer foot pads and the pearl. Male shoulders, strength, stamina, bidding starts on deadly strike. Minimum is 500. <laughs> That's a strong minimum, though, you know? Like, it's a very good item. <laughs> All right, let me check Hunter for boots. Oh, the bindings of Seracus dropped too, I just remembered, and he's got them already. That should be an easy pickup for us then. Shell plate barrier. Strength shield. Wow, that's a good shield. That's a lot of strength. I want that on my warrior, dude. So I can warrior tank with a shield. Big strength, big attack power bonus. Yeah, but I don't think I need... I, I don't think I need more stamina on my warrior. I think what I need is to do more damage so I can hold threat better. Uh, what I've been doing for tanking is I've been using shield plus one hander and going devastate rune. So I'm applying, you know, I'm applying sunder armor. And you have to have a shield equipped to, to, for devastate to do damage. Yeah, fathom blade in a raid where a deadly strike dropped. Good joke. Dude, that does look dope. It's got this, like, blue ice sheen look to it. Bindings of Seracus. This is our Abyss Bracer. And I don't think anyone uh, competes with us for it. There we go. Minimum bid. Binding of the Syracuse. Best in slot bracer. Two more attack power. Well, 3.2 more attack power. All right. We got people bidding. We got two people bidding. Three people bidding on Rakamar's Tattered Thinking Cap. 10, 11, 12. What are we going to do here? 13. It's going up. 14. Bro, if this is the kind of gold people are spending, I feel like I might win the, um, I might win the, uh, Twilight Slayer boots. Think it's going to 30? I mean, bids are slowing down at 16.
pass. <laughs> the entire pot is now at 31 gold. <laughs> Look, sometimes you have like insane, you know, spending in pugs, sometimes nothing. This glove is worse than the one I got already. Okay, we're just waiting for the Slayer footpads. Also, the Pearl. Twilight Avenger boots. Okay, these are the wrong boots. Why don't they just buy more gold? Are they stupid? That would be against the terms of service, bro. You can't do that. You're going to craft the epic gloves? This character has currently no professions. So, that's where we're at. <laughs> I'll think about it. Yeah, I did the quest line and the blacksmithing leveling for my warrior and like the entire thing, leveling the profession, buying the materials for the quest, tur the five gold raid turn in for the quest. Oh, reboon bust. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about that. I've been sitting around here this whole time. There we go. Uh, on my warrior, like, going from nothing to having the item in my inventory was like 27 gold or something. You have to do, like, a quest line to get the crafting reagent to actually make the epic item. That involves turning in five gold and a bunch of enchanting materials and kind of like going around the world. Yeah, but like the crap, like the breastplate itself that I had to buy, the shining silver breastplate was like six gold. Then there was five gold just on the raw turn in. Then there was stuff on the. Um... What else was there? I don't remember. Whatever. Do they hold all the items to the end? Yeah, yeah, all the items were held to the end, so we're going through everything right now. This was already bid out as our best in slot bracer. We're waiting on the pearl to be bid out, the trinket, uh, as well as the leather attack power boots, the set boots, Twilight Slayer boots. Backstab build, like, just not as good as Saber Slash uh, in terms of PvE damage output. Jagged Bone Necklace going for 15. Black Fingerless Gloves. More caster items. F, what did the stream F? Uh, let's see, I see 310 dropped frames in total. Not dropping frames right now, though. Man, a bunch of caster items and a bunch of people interested in them, but just people without giga wallets. Was a big lag. Okay, but we're good. We're still good here as far as I can tell on my end. 20. The gloves going up to 20 and the helmet not even. Helmet ended at 16. Uh, yeah, the gold at the end uh, is just divided up amongst the 10 raiders, even split 10 ways.
Sentinel pauldrons. Do we want to pick those for five? Not really. I mean, they're worse DPS than what I've got, so... It's only a stamina upgrade. This helm plus 10 int? You mean this one? This one's a good-ass helm. Huge intellect bonus on this one, and it's got a meta gem, you see? This is my only helm with a meta gem. Stamina for when you're leveling? Don't worry about it. Twilight Slayer foot pads. This is it. This is the biggest item. Twenty-five gold. I'm happy with that. That's a really big upgrade. Easy two piece. We might just pass on the pearl so we don't like spend too much. What is the pot at? 123 gold. So we're currently looking at a 12 gold payout. We got our bracer at minimum bid, boot at 25. I'm very happy about that. That's a pretty reasonable price, I would say. I mean, we could see what the Pearl goes for. Like, Pearl is good next phase, too. Unless they come out with two good trinkets. Alright, here's the Pearl. It's at six. Seven. Eight. Ten. What do we really want to put on a Pearl? 15. I think 15 and we're out. If the 15 holds, fine. Yeah, let, let's just pass it. Let's pass it. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I'm not trying to lose all my gold. Eh, okay, you're right. It usually goes higher. You're usually, you're right. It usually goes way higher. This is still a cheap pearl. Spending at the last second. Well, we got all the items that dropped that were good for us. Spent about 50 Gs. Kind of insane raid. <laughs> the item. <laughs> 20. Other warrior has it. Does the hunter want to melee weave? Oh, the hunter wants to melee weave. Let's go. Let's go. Technically bis for both of these, uh, for hunter. Alright, it's going 30. The hunter wasn't that interested in it. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, I was just thinking, like, the other runs I've seen, Pearl is usually up to, like, 50 or 60 gold.
Yeah, well, thank you guys for the run. Thanks for having me. This is Simon Oz. I had a good time. Oh, yeah, of course. I need that. I'm, I'm down a little bit. <laughs> I'm down a little bit in this raid. I need that payout to pick me up again. <laughs> All right. 17, so this was 5, 20, 25. So we're in for 50, then we got 17 back. So overall, we're down 33 and picked up three very good items. Yeah, I'm happy about that. That was a, that was a W raid. We did two GDKPs before. We did one run. Uh, we did one run on my warrior and one run on my rogue, both in which we did not buy anything. And we had a total profit in those runs of 60 gold. I think it was a 29 and a 31 payout. So across three GDKP raids, we're up 27 gold and have three items. 